Hello everyone. So now I, ha I have a few websites of mine that are very simple websites and I basically manage them using org mode. And at the same time, uh, when I manage them using org mode, the way to publish those sites is uh, using a commit. So for example, if you look at this site, ravi.pro, this is of course not, not, nothing but a site which I maintain using org mode. And the way I, the way it works is, I basically you know publish it from org, my my Emacs and org. Basically, I you know run a command, and uh, I simply then uh, write to a directory. And I've shown this many times on on my channel. And whenever I have that directory with new changes, so basically from one folder where I have the org files, I generate HTML. So I'm basically building the site, right? And uh, when I have that particular folder where I write basically or, or I have the new changes or new files or whatever changes that I do, I basically commit that particular folder because that particular folder is version controlled. Now this site of mine, Ravi.pro Ravi and few other sites, they are on uh, GitLab and GitLab actually gives you this uh, really nice uh, uh, option to generate a build whenever there is a new commit and it will also host it for you. So using GitLab, you can uh, also host uh, your own static website and it works really nicely because uh, you you don't really have to pay for it, of course, uh, although this might not be ideal for uh, many people. Uh, you might want to just focus on uh, your own hosting, but at the same time, at the same time, you might be using, let us say, GitLab or uh, Bitbucket or uh, GitHub, for example. <clears throat> I use Bitbucket for my own personal and my professional work because uh, I'm I'm an Atlassian consultant, and uh, for me, it makes sense to use Bitbucket because I, I help other customers, other organizations get the most out of Atlassian tools. And Bitbucket is, of course, very popular. Uh, code repository manager. Now, apart from using GitLab, because on GitLab, you can not only host your website, but you can also configure a pipeline without, you know, hosting your site anywhere else. But if let us say you're, uh, you're, you're not really interested in using GitLab, and maybe you want to just manage a simple HTML site, and you want to publish it on your own server, and you want to also configure pipeline, you can actually do it very easily using uh, Bitbucket. So this is something that I did uh, for one of my site <clears throat> where uh, I have repository in Bitbucket and whenever I commit to a, to, to, a, to a branch, let us say my dev branch or main branch, it will then uh, generate the build and it will uh, also publish it. Now, when you have a static website, then you don't really technically need any build generation. So it is all, all about uh, copying those files that you commit and moving it to your uh, uh, staging or maybe your environment. Now, uh, to do it, it is actually very simple and it is uh, super easy. You just need to create uh, a pipeline and what uh, you will get, you will be able to use uh, basically different templates. Now, the way it works with uh, Bitbucket, you have templates for a lot of basically you will have you will get a yml file and you can actually uh, look at those templates and you can also configure uh, those templates to suit your needs what i did for uh, a simple static website i basically used uh, one uh, deployment called scp deploy so basically as the name suggests whenever you we, whenever you commit something to your to, to your bitbucket it will simply copy those files and it will uh, SCP it to your, uh, your your own server, and uh, for this to happen, you just need to make sure that uh, you are using uh, the token, and you can actually store those tokens in your Bitbucket configuration when you go to the pipeline. It is all very simple, and if you want to learn how to do it, I actually made a video recently, like a detailed video, because you might be wondering how can we do it. So let me show you this video. So if you go to my website and if you go to all videos and uh, if you scroll down slightly, or you can also search to be honest, you can actually find, uh, let me just try to search pipeline. Yep, yeah, this one. 
So basically, uh, in this video, I explained uh, the entire process where I showed you, I will show you how to configure it. It is actually very simple. Uh, if you're using something like SCP deploy, which is of course one of the method, one of the deployment method, uh, it works really well for static websites. And uh, although I, I don't really have any problems with uh, GitLab, but I do manage few sites which are not on GitLab, they are on my own server. And uh, moving forward, I will be configuring more sites using uh, SCP deploy. Of course, uh, it will only work for uh, static websites. And I thought I'll just share it because uh, you do have options. So first of all, if you are looking for a free host, you can actually use GitLab. It works, although there is some limit. Even if even if you're using Bitbucket, there is a limit. And I think I, I did try GitHub because GitHub also has uh, GitHub Actions, but I never really tried it for doing something useful yet. I might try it, but uh, uh, Bitbucket, good thing about Bit, Bitbucket is that you have uh, no limit on the number of repositories, even on the free plan. But when it comes to pipelines, you do get like some minutes uh, for deployments or for configuring, these, for configuring these pipelines for your project. But I think it works re really nicely. Uh, and a good thing about Bitbucket is that Bitbucket can also be integ integrated with Jira, which I use, which I um, uh, basically also, I mean, I, I'm a consultant, but apart from helping others, I also use it myself for my own personal projects. And uh, you can create uh, a branch from your Jira story. You can also see the commits. You can also see the branches and uh, everything is nicely integrated. And that is why I, st I still prefer Bitbucket uh, for my code repository um, for, for basically managing my work, my projects. So do give it a try. It works really nicely. And uh, if you are interested in uh, understanding how pipelines work, then you can watch this video. All right. That is what I wanted to share very quickly in this video. Thank you very much. Bye bye.